this clip, let us discuss the parameters of the photovoltaic cell. For this, let us have the model of the PV cell. This is the equivalent circuit model of the PV cell. We have the IP, the photocurrent, the diode part, the shunt non-ideality and the series non-ideality coming here and these are the terminal voltages and the currents of the PV cell. Let us have in place the IV characteristic of the PV cell too. We will need this for our discussion now. Let me put down for you the terminal current model of the PV cell that we discussed and developed in the last clip. So we now have the terminal current model of the PV cell also written down here. Now looking at the IV characteristic, there are three significant points in the IV characteristic. We will discuss all these three significant points one by one. The first point is at the intersection here. So let me mark that. So this is one point that we need to discuss and I will call this as the short circuit point. Shortly you will know why it is so. I will call this one as ISC, I short circuit. Now this is origin 0. The, you will see that this point is an intercept on the y-axis when the voltage V is equal to 0, which means the terminal voltage is short-circuited. It apparently would mean that the terminal voltage has been shorted like this. So at under such conditions, you will get this IAC point, which would mean that for this particular significant point, V is equal to 0, I is equal to IAC, we are setting it to this IAC, and if we apply these constraints to this equation, we will see that the short circuit current point ISC is given by IP minus I naught e power zero plus MVT minus one minus So this is the equation after having substituted V is equal to 0 and I is equal to ISC, the terminal currents. Now we have the further constraint that RS is very, very small compared to the shunt and ISC RS is tending towards 0. It's a very small value of RS being very negligible. So which would mean that as a first step, as an approximation so that we understand the relationship between the parameters, this is negligible. We can remove it from the equation. This portion ISC RS by NVT will tend to 0, so e to the power of 0 is 1, and therefore this entire diode current portion let us remove from the equation, and you will see that ISC will equal IP, the photo current, which is proportional to the solar power which is incident. This we would call insulation. Later on I will explain on this term insulation but for now understand that insulation is the incident solar power. So the main takeaway from this critical point that we 
have been discussing is that that is the short circuit point occurring when the terminal voltage is short circuited and the short circuit point is called ISC and this ISC is proportional to the incident solar power. Next, we shall discuss the second important uh, significant point in the IV characteristic which is around this point and we will call that as VOC or the open circuit point. So this is the next important operating point that one has to consider. This we will call it as VOC. Now note that at this point the current is zero and the voltage thus obtained here is the open circuit voltage which means that here nothing is connected in the external circuit there is no current flowing through that current is zero implying an open circuit character of the PV cell. Now for this the constraints are V will be set the voltage terminal voltage will be set to VOC and the current terminal current is zero. So likewise let us apply these currents to this equation and uh, see uh, what we uh, obtain for the VOC terminal character. So you see that terminal current is zero IP minus I naught into all this expression VOC by NVT minus 1 VOC by R shunt I being 0. So this is the expression. Now here again we could say that R shunt is much greater numerically compared to VOC and therefore we could remove this from the equation without loss of generality so that we get a much better picture of what is happening. And now re repositioning these variables you will see that VOC is equal to N VT logarithm of IP plus I naught by I naught. So this would be the equation that you would obtain. So observe that there is a logarithm coming into the picture. VOC is related to IP, the insulation, but in a logarithmic way. So that you have to keep in mind that if the insulation changes, if the incident solar power changes, the variation of VOC here will be in a logarithmic manner. So if IP increases due to increase in the solar radiation, VOC will increase logarithmically, whereas ISC will increase linearly with the incident solar power. So this is the difference between this significant point and this significant point here. I have now zoomed into the PV cell IV characteristic to show the effect of solar radiation change on the IV curve. So this is the IV curve and we see that this is the short circuit ISC point, this is the open circuit voltage VOC point. Now suppose that 
the solar power is changing, what happens to the characteristic? If you take the readings of the IV curve at a different solar incident power, you will see something like that. And at a still higher solar power, you will see something like that. And you see that the short circuit points are increasing linearly, whereas the VOC points are increasing in a logarithmic way, as we just saw from the equation that we just developed. There is another important and significant point related to the IV characteristic of the PV cell. And this third significant point relates to the maximum power that can be transferred from the PV cell. Consider this IV curve and uh, let us retain the same x-axis, that is, let it be the voltage axis. The y-axis, we can include even the variable power variable, P which is the product of V and I. Consider, for example, this point, the origin, where I is equal to 0 and V is equal to 0. So there will be a, a power a point, which is P is equal to VI 0. And at this point, P is VOC into I, which is 0. And therefore, power is 0 again here. So somewhere in between, current will be non-zero, voltage will be non-zero, and you will get a hill type of curve. So if you look at the power curve, it will be something like this. Having plotted this power curve using P is equal to VI. Now this power curve is having a maximum at this point, and let us denote it by PM, the max power that the photovoltaic cell can generate. Now, if you look at the projection of the max power point onto the IV characteristic, you'll see that somewhere at this point, it will intersect the uh, IV characteristic and we shall call that voltage corresponding to that maximum power point as Vm and the current corresponding to uh, the IV point as IM. And this point we shall call as the peak power operating point. So this is the point that is very important in uh, the choice and selection of the PV cells too. And we would like also to operate the PV cell at this operating point, which means even the electronics, the electronic load to the PV cell uh, should behave in such a manner that the PV cell is uh, most of the time operating in this uh, region where it is capable of delivering the max power from the PV cell and thereby utilizing it to the fullest.